You came back! Thanks for watching my last video. I'm trying to take baby steps on YouTube. Although, what does that even mean, baby steps? Babies don't walk, first of all. And if they did walk, it'd be like... Anyway, I'm taking those steps. There's a lot of talk about geoblocking, both on and off YouTube. You know, one of the things that always excited me and us at Big Fantastic about doing stuff on the internet was that you can actually monitor where your videos are being watched. You know, back in the days, I'm dating myself, but we used FeedBurner, which was a way that you could track the podcast downloads. It was a video podcast because I'm a thousand years old. And you could see like where people were and, and it was crazy because, you, you know, it'd be like, it'd be like one in Switzerland and then the United States and then Brazil and then Bulgaria and then Vietnam and, and then places where you're like, I didn't even know that was uh, that, that, that country would have internet. Like, that's crazy. The ability to reach an international audience right away always appealed to me. And so in light of the international theme, in 2008, we shot a web series called Foreign Body and we actually shot part of it in India. So for this video, I thought that I would share with you guys some of the personal videos that I took on our location scout in February of 2008 that I went on with one of my partners, Doug Cheney, also one of the founders of Big Fantastic and one of the directors of Foreign Body. Here's our location scouting trip to India. Did that did that work? All right, it is February 3rd, 7:15 local time here in, here in here in Chicago, Illinois. Video recording on this magic camera. YouTube technology. So like a movie studio in a box. That's Dr. Steve Brule on cameras. Anyway, we're we're getting ready to fly to India. 16 hours later, we arrived at the Indira Gandhi Airport. All the power is off on the airplane. I think because there wasn't enough power at the gate. So we're here, Doug. What are you thinking? Thinking, uh, got a good feeling about the luggage. Their hotel room. Welcome to India. Yes, this is our this is our humble abode. We're having some problems. It's a, it's like 1.30 in the morning and we are trying very hard to get through to America to let people know that we're alive. There is Wi-Fi. We, we can get on it. We just can't surf the web or enter any information to pay for a access card. We went down to the front desk and got uh, prepaid cards, brought them up here. Turns out they're expired. The Mac tried to use his iPhone and it now seems to not be working because India and it don't agree. I have full bars. That's great news, except I can't make a call. So, um, we do have a small fire going and some signal flares. What? What happened? You're in? How? Well, we'll see. Hold on. Via PC? We'll How'd it go? Didn't work. <laughs> My online doesn't work. My phone doesn't work. We can't eat. We tried this phone and it doesn't work. What do we do? Okay, so there has been a great development. We've gotten online. Caleb is currently emailing our contacts here in India. I happened to get on Boingo at the airport at O'Hare in Chicago for the first time ever. I'd never done such a thing. And because of the Boingo account, I was able to get on through a partner here in India. The phone and the internet, nothing's working. It's crazy. Um, but we're in India, which is totally insane. We worked with India Take One, who had recently completed work on Slumdog Millionaire. These guys were amazing. We're gonna go see some locations. Wait, wait, back up. I should explain that our hosts in India were a family of people led by a man named Abhi Mathur. Well, what mall is this? This is Great India Place. Great India Place. What did you just say, Doug? Exactly like Santa Monica Place. I mean, look, we got you got your cell phone stores, you got your clothing stores, you got your KFC. Hey, monkey. Hey. Oh, right, there's another thing. Monkeys everywhere. And we had our share of run-ins with the monkeys. You gotta throw them, Doug. You gotta throw them all. Throw them all, quickly, quickly. <laughs> Doug, 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 you gotta follow her. You gotta follow her. Day two of our location scout. We're gonna see this place called Chandni Chak, which is uh, right by the Red Fort. When we came back in May, we actually wound up shooting an entire day at the Chandni Chak, which is this bustling marketplace. Hey. Hello. Just, uh, I'm just saying hi. You know. you can, uh... The streets in Delhi are hard to explain. Traffic seems to move in every direction, so flowing almost like water. Hi. 
is uh, end of Thursday, which is day three, really, yes, eight. eight, 14 of our journey. We did a bunch of casting today, and now we're going to go get some food. It's more than that, though, right? It's fresh, it's hot, it's life, it's spice, it's fun, it's cool. And, um, it's chocolate, it's gooey, it's nutty, and I'm mad about it. Some of the houses that we scouted were unbelievable. What? From the rooftop patio, you could see almost the entire city. <laughs> and it even had one of these. All right, so we just got back to our hotel room from dinner with Abby's family at a really good restaurant that my uncle loves called Embassy. And we get back to our hotel room and no power. So we got a flashlight going that's giving us light, but there magically is internet. So we'd be coming back in three months to shoot Robin Cook's foreign body, but that's another story that I'll save for later. So thanks for watching. I hope you guys made it this far. Let me know what you think. Comment it, rate it, thumbs. Give me thumbs if you can. Let me know if there's anything you want me to talk about. And uh, yeah, so until next time, bye. Hey, so there's more videos, so check them out. I got more videos and stuff, so, you know, check them out if you want. Or if you don't, you know, whatever, check them out.